Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer for the month of January 2021. Um, it is a general reading. That means it is not going to resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. So one or more or maybe all of these messages may resonate with you. If not, um, just take what does and leave the rest beginning with the sun in reverse at the bottom of the deck. A creative project may be blocked at this time, or you could be feeling your own creativity being stifled in some way. These challenges could be imposed from outer sources, or they could actually be coming from within. Are you standing in your own way, stopping self-expression out of fear or self-doubt. If so, it is time to let go of that fear and be more willing to take a risk. The sun, when reversed, can also indicate a period of time where you find yourself living in the darkness of confusion, lack of direction, or for some even depression. Reclaim your power and take back emotional control of your life. Stop focusing on the clouds. Like uh, the sun, the light of your soul shines no matter what difficulty or darkness may be clouding the horizon. Your power and your light are always present. They're always able to bring healing and renewal through strong, self-directed choices in any situation. So let go of the doubt. Let your creativity come forth and know that you deserve to shine. And your first message is the temple path, and uh, it is in the reverse. So um, receiving this card in this position is a sign that you could have fallen uh, off the path or strayed from it. You could be too focused on worldly possessions and material gain, or you may simply be maintaining old unhealthy habits of fear, uh, limitation, worry, or doubt. Whatever is distracting you, receiving this card in this position is a firm message that it's time to make your spiritual life and evolution a much higher priority because not doing so represents an important loss of power. So, Clear your mind, meditate, and open up to the presence of spirit. Whatever else you may have going on, consider this an important part of your personal and tactical plans. The support and inspiration of all eternity and countless loving spirits are available to you. And not... not Turning to them is like cursing the dark when you refuse to turn on the lights. The next message. Appreciation. I feel like um, it's like you, the, how would I explain this? Okay, she's here, okay, and um, behind her all of these brambles represent her worries, negative thoughts, but she, in the upright, uh, she's here and, and smelling, um, she's taking the time to smell uh, the rose or um, to look at the beauty of the rose. 
appreciating the little things. Now, because of these two cards, it's telling me that she um, may have been distracted away from doing that, from appreciating uh, the little things, that there's just like so much on her mind. Um, something may have happened that caused uh, her to kind of slip into those brambles. And um, so there's a lot of negative chatter. Something could have taken away her confidence, could have taken away the beauty of the moment for her. But because of all of the negativity that is now clouding her vision and crowding her mind, she can miss some very important opportunities. She's lost her sense of gratitude and is all caught up in those prickly brambles of negativity and even despair. This card warns, stop focusing on what you don't have, even if that seems to be a lot. Instead, you must find something to appreciate about yourself and your life because there is much to be grateful for if you would but stop and look. Choose to focus on the little things with gratitude and acknowledgement. Because if you don't, these small little things will drop from your fingers and keep you stuck in in in. In, a, in, in like a bad pattern of thinking, you know, and, and causing you or causing these thoughts and these fears, this negativity to take you deeper and you, you don't want that. So let go of the negative focus and spend some time every day, every day, acknowledging what you have to be grateful for. And remember that the more you appreciate your life, the more your life will appreciate in value. The decision to acknowledge and be grateful for the little things shifts your consciousness from lack to value. And it's guaranteed to bring more worth and richness of life to you. Man holding a heart is the next message and he is reversed. So, um, when it appears in this position, it can indicate that there uh, there is a disconnect or even a total shutdown regarding your emotional life. It's time now to open up and know that you can handle deep emotions and the energy that those emotions bring up. Whether it's anger, grief, or utter bliss, you can be comfortable in their experience and in their expression. This can also indicate a difficult connection or, or even relationship with, uh, with someone who may be easy to anger, um, deceitful, or quick to criticize. His behavior can be attributed to fear and self-doubt, yet he would never admit it. 
you deserve honoring in any relationship. So set some boundaries and do not buy into this emotional chaos. Your soul longs for emotional peace. The healer of the ages also reverse. So when this card comes up in this position, it indicates that you've been feeling extremely out of sorts or even uh, like your life is upside down. You may be in the midst of some physical problem or just feeling as though you're losing energy. But uh, this card is telling you that there are deeper, deeper levels of healing that need to be addressed. So you're going to have to go deeper. Um, deep emotions that need to be uh, addressed here. You can handle it. So take some time to regroup and put your own healing first. You know, whether you're facing mental, emotional, physical, or even addictive patterns, you can call upon the healer of the ages to bring his energy to the issues you're working on. Just quiet your mind and feel his energy vibration. Feel his energy vibration, bringing you warmth and healing light, clearing away any dark or hurting space. A fiery climax approaches here. It's time to see if you've been a little bit too much me, me, me. So there's a tug of war going on between what you want and what someone else wants. But you will have to wait a little while to see what's going to happen next. But as you wait, ask yourself if you've been handling the situation as sensitively as you could have done. If you know deep down that you've been a little rash or harsh or gone too fast or overstepped the mark, then accept that on some level you've created this situation yourself, which means you can create your way out of it too. When this card comes up, a peak is coming and it could be very intense and fiery. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation to the channel. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.